and away they go from the 1800 meter mark and not a bad beginning this one. Alphonse Baby's right there, Rotunda is the grey near the rail, Jackson Wells going around them and Snow Palace now runs up into third position, French Declaration is on the outside of runners and then comes Electric Surge. Green Grow the Lilacs is near the rail, just getting a couple of niggles along the inside with the White Nose Band and the Corded Cab. And on the outside of that one there is Bella Swan and Blue Sails the trailer, about six or seven lengths off the leader. Jackson Wells takes them to the 1200. In second is Snow Palace. Alphonse Baby is near the rail. Then comes Electric Surge. On the outside, French Declaration. Now followed further back by Rotunda, who's just in front of Green Grow the Lilacs. On the outside of that, Bella Swan and Blue Sails is one of the trailers. There's about six, seven lengths top to tail. Snow Palace now takes it up. French Declaration has now run up into second. Jackson Wells is out the rail. Electric Surge is fourth. Then Alphonse Baby. Behind that is the Grey Rotonda. That's got the black cap. On the outside, Bella Swan. Then Blue Sails. Green Grow the Lilacs is being asked to run now with about seven or eight to go. Homeward Bound and Snow Palace tries to skip away. Jackson Wells is out the rail. On the outside, French Declaration. Green Grow the Lilacs going for a run on the inside. Rotunda gets hooked out to the middle. Electric Surge on the outside. Green Grow the Lilacs, Snow Palace, and Rotunda becomes a big run on the outside. And Rotunda now comes at Snow Palace. Green Grow the Lilacs on the inside. Rotunda now and Snow Palace. There's nothing in it. They eyeball to eyeball. Snow Palace came back to win it. Second to Rotunda, and then Green Grow the Lilacs, and fourth, Bella Swan. Terrific struggle, and it's going to go to Snow Palace. Who win it? Snow Palace, the mayor by Patala Palace. Craig Zaki, they win it by a long head to a neck. And number six on the tote pays up 13.10 and 3.20. Second to number two, Rotunda. Third, number one, Green Grow the Lilacs. And fourth to number nine, Bella Swan. Further back in the run was... Electric Surge, and then came French Declaration. So Rotunda fourth the right-hand side, the other grey in the race, but Snow Palace took it up at about the 800 metre and records its fifth win from 42 outings, bred by Favour Stud for Tolliard, McNabb and Spice, and they end up winning it, and winning it, like I say, a long head to a neck and denying Richard Ferry of his third winner. So Snow Palace is victorious, the tote favourite number one, back to the studio. A lovely finish to the third race here at Hollywood Bets, Scott uh, Gravel rather, and it's gone the way of Snow Palace for Corney and uh, Craig Zaki. And Joshua is the gentleman who grooms and loves and looks after this gorgeous mare, and for that he gets 2,000 Rand. Joshua, well done to you. Thank you, for the Thank Thank you very much. much. Yeah. Well done, Joshua. Enjoy the rest of the afternoon and we'll see you just now. Come on, Craig, come and talk to us. Tell us how the race uh, ran because watching in the studio it looked like the two Vasfontein horses at the back were going to kick on and, and they did one on either side of you but you had other ideas Snow Palace she dug down deep and she's won nasty today yeah she's definitely dug down deep here Warren um, you know she's a filly who runs handy but not under pressure you don't want to come out and battle her or she just doesn't finish off her races so I mean at a stage I was happy third one off without the cover and then the pace sort of seemed to ease and She's such a big filly with a big stride. I didn't want to restrain her, so I let her use it. And I mean, uh, Richard came up alongside her, and when she eyeballed the other filly, she really, really found another good kick and grounded down. The rest of your rides, and you've got one on the board, and in your opinion, who could your next best be? It was a quiet day for me, Warren. Um, just a bit disappointed with the one in the last Brave Voyager, but. They'll kick on with him. Um, this filly's won a good race and only got one in the last, but footed. He could be anything, but his post uh, maiden run was really good and must have some sort of a shot. Well, although a quiet day, a successful day. Well done to you. Thank you. Well done to Corne once again. Another great training feed, traveling feed to Fancy and the guys back at home. Well done to Melandi, Zander. Always, always a pleasure in their, their colors. And once again to Moritz Fontaine and Volkswagen. 
Thank you. Well done, Craig. Spot on. Come on, Corne. And uh, let's chat. Uh, let's chat about. She, she, she's a beautiful mare. I mean, I looked at her in the number one box. She's a nice big girl. She's lovely. Yeah, she is, Warren. She's a proper, fully tall, big, uh, strong, uh, long action, and and. Uh, very interesting temperament. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the owners, of course, Dr. Talyard and uh, Mrs. McNabb, and of course, your son Xander. And uh, you know, every time you look at the computer form, their names are there and they're behind you all the way. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, uh, Rob McNabb's been with us for ages, and Melandi is doing such a great job at the yard. Um, always nice to have Xander involved as well. And uh, yeah, they, uh, Rob's uh, wife Susan loves these gray, gray horses, so. So between her and Melandi, it's always a, 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 a tug of war. <laughs> <laughs> Who loves the filly more? But uh, yeah, she's like I said, she's got an interesting temperament. She's not easy, but she really loves this gravel track. She's been third in a group one year, fourth in a group two, and uh, you know, win again today. So hopefully we'll see more of her down here for the season. And uh, very well done to all of the partners. And a huge thank to you to, to Hollywood Bets and winning form, our sponsors. Before you run away, you've got a few more runners. Like if you had were to have another winner, in your opinion, who could it be? I know they're all here to try and do their best, but who do you like? Yeah, the, the snow was obviously our, our, our best for the day. Unfortunately, you know, the Sunday meeting got all buggered up. But uh, uh, I think a filly like Scott Tadito must have a chance. Uh, she needs to get to the to the sort of front end of the of the race. Though the previous two times she's been here, she's been tucked in, and that doesn't seem to work for her. So I'm hoping she'll be, uh, you know, closer to the pace today. And and uh, True Britain and Befooted last time ran very nicely, third and fourth. And and I think they can they can just pop up as well. So don't leave any of the others out. Lovely. Your phone's ringing. Go and attend Thank to that. You. Lovely, Corne. Congratulations and uh, lovely to have you in town as always. Corne Spies and his owners and his team and his staff. Welcome. And uh, Snow Palace has won. 6, 2, 1 and 9. Those are the results of race 3. I can see in the distance there they're preparing for race 4. But here's the, here's the post race. Let me get it right. Here's the review, the replay. <laughs> Thank you.